Money doesn't buy happiness. I find that I buy a lot of things that make me happy. <laughs> so maybe that saying's not all it's um, cracked up to be. Today I want to tell you just a few of the things that make me happy. The first of my guilty pleasures, and the most obvious to anyone that knows me, and anyone that heard my icebreaker speech, is Mexican food. I love the saltiness of chips, the crunchiness, the creaminess, and the warmness of queso. I love the way that guacamole, the avocados melt in your mouth when you eat it, the tanginess of the peppers that you put them in there. I eat a lot of beans and rice as a vegetarian. That's one of the ways that I get my protein and my vitamins. And tacos and burritos are a good way for me to eat those things. Although my favorite restaurant is not here in Colorado, there are quite a few restaurants that I eat at the Mexican food at. Oops. Um, here's just a few of them. I'd say that I probably spend $10 a week on Mexican food, and that's just at restaurants. <laughs> I also spend a lot of time at home making Mexican food. I have beans and rice for lunch a lot. It's easy. It's purely inexpensive. Avocados, though, getting pretty expensive this time of year. Another thing that makes me really happy is having super cute nails. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, I use Jamberry nails thanks to Jackie's sales skills. <laughs> I adore all the different patterns that I can have, the stripes, the polka dots. I really love that I can have so many different black and white manicures. <laughs> What's also great about Jamberry is that the products are not harmful and they actually help my nails grow longer and stronger. I'm not going to tell you how much I spend on Jamberry. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> but eventually, I may become a consultant, just like Jackie, and actually make money off of Jamberry. Another thing that makes me really happy is my dogs. And by my dogs, I mean my roommate's dogs. <laughs> they call me Auntie. I don't actually pay to spend time with them, but I do pay rent, so I'm going to count for this. Louis stole my heart the very first day we met, and also part of my finger. <laughs> he may seem really calm in this picture, but he actually has this really, really bad addiction to balls. So bad. It's, it's extreme. He likes to look at balls, he likes to chew balls, he likes to run and catch balls, he likes to throw balls to himself, it's really funny. <laughs> he slides across the kitchen to catch his balls. Sometimes we even have full conversations about his ball. He'll whack his little tail like this. <laughs> I'll say, Louie, where's your ball? He's like, I don't know, maybe I think it's over here. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure it's over there? He's like, I don't know, maybe it's over here. <laughs> I'll say, is it outside, Louie? And he's like, I think so, let's go get it. <laughs> On the other hand, Lillian likes to snuggle. She loves pets. She loves pets on her belly and on her bum. But every once in a while, she gets super crazy and just runs around in circles around the living room. I like to say she's like um, Danica Patrick, about to win the Indy 500. <laughs> These dogs look at me every single morning and every single day when I get home, and they bring me so much happiness. Mm -hmm. I miss them eventually, and I'm not going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing that makes me really happy is beer. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to say that I just like to drink beer because it makes me happy. I actually enjoy the taste of beer. <laughs> I like to try different types of beers. I like to explore hot varietals. That's a real phrase, I did not make that up. I like beer in cans, beer in bottles, beer on tap. <laughs> I like to go to breweries and try all the different beers that they have to offer. This picture is actually from Smiling Toad Brewery, if anyone knows it. I like to compare the personalities of breweries, is what I like to call them. I like to compare big breweries like Odell and Fort Collins to little breweries like Fossil which is on 24 and 31st. And another one of my favorite breweries is Mio Two, a great company. Another thing that I really enjoy, that we all know I enjoy, is coffee. <laughs> now coffee is actually really good for you. Did you know that coffee, consumption, the consumption of coffee actually helps eliminate liver cancer, liver disease, Parkinson's disease, diabetes, and heart failure. Coffee is actually really good for you. <laughs> One of the places that I like to have coffee, besides at home, obviously I make coffee at home every day, otherwise I'd be broke, <laughs> is Dutch Brothers. Now, 
one of the reasons that I go to Dutch Brothers is that I love the fact that every single barista I've ever met at Dutch Brothers has been so nice to me. They're like, what are you doing today? Are you having a good day? Where are you going? And I'm always like, I'm going to work, dude. It's 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> <sometimes." laughs> but they're always so happy about their day and their job, and I love that. And I also love that their lids always have a cute little message on them. I don't know if you guys go to Dutch Brothers, but this, You Complete Me, was the first one I ever got. This is not my picture, but it made my day that day, and it only cost me $2. <laughs> Money itself doesn't buy happiness, but these are some of the things that I spend money on that make me happy. Oh.